Hello. Conor McGregor has a very unorthodox style which defies conventional wisdom. Every art to some degree has ingrained wisdom telling us our hands should be up to protect our faces. That they should be positioned to ensure our chins are protected, yet in Conor's case, each fight he appears to break this fundamental principle, leaving many practitioners dumbfounded and on the edge of their seats, free When it comes to the gloves in boxing in comparison to MMA, even if you have a textbook guard against the human hand, against the small 2-4 to four ounce gloves, against a man who's trained his entire life. Michael Venom Page doing this with his hands down, running all around the arena whilst dancing and taunting his opponent. Floyd Mayweather, his unusual guard leaving one hand down while always appearing on the retreat. People actually make fun of Floyd for it. It's basically become a meme where Floyd runs away from everyone who fights him, but of course, most fighters have too much pride in their hard work and their art to do so, to appear as if they are backing down in the Connor is very much like that analogy. He trusts his reflexes. Even then, if you end up taking a punch in that relaxed position where you see that fist coming, you can roll with that punch and additionally, as you tilt back, when their mass comes forward, you negate part of the force traveling towards you, giving the fist overall a lot less knockout power. This is also why I believe Connor is so hard to knock out. He is seen taking punches throughout his career, but it looks as though he has this rock solid chin. His posture is very assertive, dominant and confident, leaving his chin hanging forward, yet he can still take punch after punch. Due to the lightness of his feet, his quick reflex is ready to see and react to punches coming. By tilting back to a degree, he's still always rolling with that fist that hits him, negating part of the damage dealt. He either counter punches you or negates a bit of the damage taken with Telegraphing your haymaker when you have to drop your hands anyways to generate force. But when your hands are to your side, you're already in that power position. You sink the thick pectoral muscles into the initial acceleration of your fist, not just your deltoids and back. Plus you're striking from a looser position, allowing you to whip your arm with more speed opposed to pushing from an already tensed position. When your hands are up, your deltoids are already tense to keep your hands up and you can't sink that same relaxed fluid motion Connor always has with his hands to his side. Just look at people who throw baseballs and footballs at the highest level. They use a wider range of motion from a relaxed and loose
to deal with angry, egotistical idiots who pick fights for no reason. Usually they have no formal training and versus an idiot, using simple and effective methods to deal with them is intelligent. They probably won't have precise quick punches trained. An angry idiot will probably focus on sloppy telegraphed easy to block haymakers opposed to crisp and refined boxing. Plus, real martial artists rarely pick fights on the street. The mental discipline and the gym to vent their frustrations negates their desire to do so. It just does not happen. To my experience, people who are trained are ironically the most peaceful people on the streets. But at the highest level, good reaction time and nimble movement appears more effective for smaller gloves when especially the whole martial arts consensus is to keep your hands up. Think about it. The novelty of dealing with someone who has their hands down is like the novelty of dealing with someone who's a southpaw. Because there are fewer people like that, we just have less experience dealing with them. And overall, that makes them more difficult to fight. The same principles we've habitually reinforced to defenders of simply do not apply to them to the same degree. Yet the reverse is true for those who have their hands down and those who are south pod. Those who are unique and unorthodox in their styles. They can always find an abundance of orthodox fighters to train their style against. Connor is both, which partly explains why he is such a headache for all of his opponents. A southpaw with his hands down. <laughs> One of the strongest counters against another person is their own ignorance. If they don't have a lot of experience dealing with you, a lot of what they've trained simply goes out the window. This goes for MMA as Conor McGregor has proved. This goes for every computer game. Some facets of business. Donald Trump. You've called women you don't like fat pigs, dogs, slobs, and disgusting animals. Your Twitter account Only Rosie several. O'Donnell. With his belligerent, simple, and unsophisticated way of speaking in a sea of polite, formal, and eloquent politicians proved in politics, the unique and unexpected are the ace in the hole not because they are better actually, not because they utilize the best physics, but because inexperience creates blind spots in one's game which applies to all facets of life. That is a basic truth. You can't really argue with that. <laughs> The unique and unexpected that we have not habitually prepared for puts stress on muscles that we have not trained lifting with. It's like bench pressing your entire life and randomly being told to lift a heavy ass deadlift. You haven't trained those muscles. You haven't trained your brain. You simply don't have the foundation to deal with this shit. So. I hope I've effectively highlighted a few pros as to why having your hands down is such an effective way of fighting. Although, again, it's not always about what's good for one person, but what's good for you. This video was not intended to make you drop your hands all of a sudden, but instead, question the status quo and prove it does not always have the answers. To that end, I encourage you to experiment to have the courage to figure out what makes the most sense to your style, your genetics, and what makes the most sense to you. This is not just martial arts, but a philosophy for life. And I hope through it, you can refine the unique you to ensure calamity and havoc follow in your wake. Thank you, Conor McGregor, for this lesson. Please, guys, don't forget to smash that like button if you enjoyed. I'd really appreciate that, plus it's good karma. Please give me your feedback, comments, what you think, what you can add. I love reading what you guys have to say. Until next time, peace.